I'm going to show you how to make bows out of burlap fabric and ribbon. First, I want you to take, measure out your ribbon on top of your burlap and figure out how long you want it. If you want your bow to be um, at least an inch on both sides larger than your ribbon, then take a, str a strand of that burlap and pull it. Because you, if you try and cut it, you're not going to get a straight line because it's kind of wavy. So you need to pull on that strand, gather it up like that, pull it all the way out. That's going to give you a straight line. Do you see that bridge there? And I want you to cut that. And you do that twice because you're going to have one section for your loop and the other one for your tail. Then you're going to take, there's a stuff called fray check here. This right here, you're going to go along all of your edges, all along your edges, just like this, kind of dabbing it on. This is a clear glue and it holds your, your threads in place once you get, get uh, to where you want it. I like the frayed edge look. See, that's what I'm doing. So I dab, pull like four, three or four strands off. Then I dab my, glue, my fray check on all along the edges to hold it in place. Now I made two of those. This one here, the first one actually, I took my ribbon, measured it out, top side off, measured it out, and I glued my ends together here, end to end, one end and the other end with my glue gun. This one here I can do a little bit better. Dab it on, press it down. Then you're going to go and overlap them a little bit and dab on some more glue. Just enough to hold it. Don't ooze it in there a lot because that will seep through and burn your fingers. Any type of porous fabric and you put glue on it, it's going to melt through the, the, the um, weave of the fabric and burn your fingers. So you press that down really good. Then you have your other piece. I measured out the same, well of course it's the same length because it was cut off the same thread. And I cut my ribbon a little bit shorter than what the length of the fabric is. It doesn't need to be quite as long because you're going to take these ends here and you're going to cut yourself a tail. Fold in half so you got both ends together, then fold them in half long ways and then cut a little chevron from the middle out like that. And that's going to give you these chevron edges and I do that I just did that with the ribbon I'm gonna leave my burlap squared off because it doesn't quite have the same look and it kind of uh, tends to fray on the end so you make sure you get your right sides together and if you want glue that in place a little bit just to hold it tack it down your middles and your middles or tack it down really good so I've got my middle tacked in now you take a piece of leftover burlap that I had. I had to actually cut my, my loop down a little bit, enough to give myself a piece that I folded over three times just to overlap it, and then I glued it down. This is going to be your middle section here, okay? So you take the top side of your bow. If you need to, you can dab that little bit of glue on that to hold it down in place. It kind of helps a little bit. Then you take and find your middle half, and fold it kind of together like a fan. Pinch it together like that. Okay? Then you take your your tail here. Do the same thing. You're going to kind of fold it in half. Scrunch it together like that and put it right beside below your other your loop part. Then you take your piece here and you're going to overlap it on the front side and then take your back side. Now you can, if you're going to put this on, um, hang it somewhere. I didn't have any pipe cleaners with me today, but I usually use pipe cleaners, but I'm going to take a piece of burlap so I have something to hang it with or tie it on with. Lay that down with your bow on the back side. Then you're going to take your middle loop there, fold it over. You see that? Fold it over and then glue it. Try and hold your bow in the same place so it doesn't come apart. Fold that over, press it down, it's got to hold it kind of tight. Then take your other end right here, dab some glue on it. Let that seep through your pores so it holds through. Then you're going to fold that up and across. Now if it's going to be too long and overlap like the frayed inches are here, cut it off and then press it down and hold it. 
that's going to give you a bow like that. And then all you got to do is straighten it out a little bit, shape it. It's your long bow, and then fluff out your your burlap so you've got more of a loop, a round loop instead of flat. And there you go. Quick and easy bows. This is a great way to use um, like four two and a half inch ribbon like this and or burlap and make a bunch of bows to put on a Christmas tree or decor for a room whatever but there you go save your time and money bye